hey guys this is saurav nahar here and today i'll be showing you nokia asha 205 which is a budget phone i have with me the white color asha 205 it has a 2.4 inch lcd display and nokia slam feature which is a bluetooth sharing feature by nokia it has a 32 gigabyte expansion on it and series 40 os 608 hours of standby time and 11 hours of talk time the contents inside the box pack it has a 1020 mh battery and some user guide and manuals i would like to show you the changes they have made in the headphones they have changed the headphones and they have removed the receive and end call button from it which i didn't like and everything is same as before here you could see the memory card slot which is expandable up to 32 gigabytes and uh, sim card slot camera and speaker the other sim card slot is on the side here you could insert the second sim and the side view of the phone we have only the sim card slot there and nothing on the either side left or right side i like and here you see the charging port and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack port and i like the keyboard on it which is very good they have separated all the keys and there is a distance or you could say space between the two keys which is very good and we could easily type due to it at the bottom we have the microphone and a tap to pull out the back cover and now let's remove the back cover and insert the battery I would say it is a bit difficult to remove the back cover you could see but the back cover is too good now let's insert the battery 1020mh battery and power on the device and see what's in there let's power it on I guess I shouldn't have rejected that. Let's power it on again. And accept it now. You see the normal Nokia stuff in there. And we have a EA games separate icon which we get 40 games and eBody pre-installed now let me show you the Nokia Slam feature there's nothing special let me send the file via Nokia Slam so here it is the Nokia Slam I have made a separate video on it, do watch it, I will be uploading it soon and we have the choice for which, from which card you would like to call and send message and if you don't want the phone to ask you every time you can unmark it and it would automatically send from the selected sim card they have separated each and every key on the keyboard which is good now let me show you the camera application on the phone they have made some basic changes they have given some effects sepia normal black and white etc 
and a grid view which we see in iPhone now see what's in the apps they have pre-installed Facebook and given a dedicated Facebook button and Twitter and other stuff pre-installed you could see now I'll be playing a song for you so that you can hear the speaker quality the speaker quality is very good clear and crisp let me raise the voice you could hear it is very clear and crisp so thank you guys for watching this is Saurabh from all about technologies do subscribe to my channel and visit my blog thank you